He wants seven kids. Oh, I can't go in. There's a knife. You pick up the steak knife. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's about to go down, dude. Oh, is this why Tomas was hinting at getting stuff? You have two kids, and that is enough. I thought you had three. Who the hell? Somebody has three kids. For Holy Bin so loved the world that he gave his one and only clean biodegradable fork that whoever believes in it shall not litter but have a trashless life. In the biodegradable fork's name, reduce, reuse, and recite. Oh, shit. This is so dumb. I love it. I love it. He gathers trash. We're beating up grown men that are trying to recycle right now. Look at the background. Jeez Louise. What is, what is happening? Oh no, I left my hand sanitizer at home. I should reflect on my life. You really should. I was not expecting what is happening. May we one day be recycled onto it so that we may be delivered unto the trashless world in the biodegradable fork's name, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Ah, he threw trash and kill. So this Devon is the real world segment of the game. It's broken up into different parts. There's like the real world and then the headspace stuff. Uh, I recommend playing it though. It's not that long. Don't judge me, okay? I'm just doing this for college credit. Oh, wait, can I go back? Oh, oh, they're like Pokemon trainers. For Holy Bin so loved the world that he gave his one and only clean biodegradable fork in the biodegradable fork's name. I think they have skills. Uh, the recyclist? Recycultist? Totally inspired by Mother Earth. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Haven't played those though. Need to. I've been beaten by trash. Forgive the kids. Oh yeah, of course they have skills. I just, I just, I just looked at them all and forgive me, Holy Bin. I am unclean and unworthy of the trashless world. Yeah, they have skills. I've been, I've been, yeah, I've played, I've been playing this game. You goof. The story is really good. If you don't want spoilers, you should definitely not, like this part's fine, but I wouldn't stick around too long. We can tag. Oh, I wonder if we can, like, not get into fights if Kel if Hero's the leader. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice that. They're grown up. They are. I want to see them. Nice. Oh, look at Aubrey. She looks so like. She's like, I don't tag you. I don't care. <laughs> nice. Cute. It's so cute. They're all grown up. Yeah, I was I was looking through their skills. Uh, Aubrey has home run, which will uh, instantly defeat somebody. Uh, Hero has first aid. Kel has his encourage, which I've been, I've been using it. And then Tomas has all of the ones that he's learned story-wise. The bin is my savior. I shall not waste. He picks up trash in green pastures. He leads me beside clean waters. He recycles my soul. He leads me toward the path of cleanliness. In the biodegradable fork's name... I'm actually just going to use his first aid on Kel. Oh, good thing I did too. Damn. 
It definitely doesn't heal much, though. So, definitely better to have those... Oh, no! Kel, you missed! He whiffed. I like that they say whiff. They whiffed. Ever yeah, everyone goes for Kel first. What's up with that? Everyone wants to attack him. You you probably didn't don't care, but I don't actually believe this stuff. My girlfriend dragged me along. She can get kind of carried away about this recycling stuff. I should reflect on my life. May we one day be recycled into so that we may be delivered into this trashless world. His punchable face. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Kel, stop missing, dude. You're really, you're really starting to annoy me. Aubrey has a nail bat equipped, by the way. Look at it, such a dork. He just keeps gathering trash. He's not using it, though. I know that he's our leader and all, but building a giant trash tower seems kind of sacrilegious, don't you think? A little bit. It's a little weird. We got trash. Why is there a painting? This is going to be the guy that didn't buy the floor lamp. The strange guy. Spent eight hours constructing this unbreakable block. I'd like to see you try and get past it. Oh, Aubrey can, actually. You want Aubrey to break that? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's great. Just... Oh. Uh. Is this real? I don't know if this is real anymore. The Ben is my savior. I shall not waste. He picks up trash. Like, is, is everything... A, is everything like a, a dream thing? Tag the others with her? I tagged Hero. Uh, I tagged Hero and Tomas with her. Did I tag Kel with her? I don't know. I've been beaten by trash. Forgive me, Holy Bin. I am unclean and unworthy of the trashless world. Uh... Kel? Ah, with the bat? That's great. <laughs> oh, that one was even better. With with Hero, she just grabs his ear. How does Hero, Hero tag her? Just like, he just nicely puts his hand on his shoulder. Oh no, they attacked they attacked Tomas. Interesting. Forgive me, trash bin, for I have littered. Actually, can we do I should reflect on my life. Okay. I wasn't sure if maybe they would like if Hero was leading, maybe they'll do something. It's funny because she was already very aggressive. Right. Like it it but it makes sense considering her if her home life is that awful. Alright. I wasn't sure if maybe they would like give me if anybody would give me anything for hero being in charge. Since he's so charming. Like it makes sense. That's what I was saying. Like I've 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 been I've seen that. Whoa, that's a lot of dudes. Oh, great trash bin in the sky. Please cleanse us of our trash. They give you a save point, but not a heal point, which makes sense. Wait, actually... Forgive me, trash bin. Oops. Wait, why doesn't he have a charm? Cool glasses. Good for cutting meat. Okay, he does. He did equip it. I wasn't sure if I had to equip it, actually. 
save. Gaze upon the size of our army and tremble. Without loyal followers of your own, you will never be able to defeat us, even if you are quite charming. Return when your numbers exceed ours. We will have our showdown then. What? Oh, we do actually go. This place doesn't suit you. Why don't we take care of this mess before it gets out of hand? Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, then they join. Okay, that's so we do need hero. Wait a minute. That's funny. That's not what I, I thought they would give us stuff, but. Um. Why did one of them turn into a bird? Is this not what is happening? This isn't real. Doesn't seem to be any room left for me. Wait, what? Okay, I'm just gonna save over what I just did and then see what happens. Maybe I was supposed to do something. Looks like you outnumber us now. It would seem we have no choice but to surrender. All right, let's go. Anyone up for some barbecue tonight? Bye. So I guess uh, we should get going too. Yeah, all right. Bye. Are you gonna, I feel like something's gonna happen here. So let's. Use those. Dude, Aubrey has so much health. I knew it. I knew it. Hello, Recyc Recycle Path. <laughs> Welcome to the top of the Tower of Rubble. It is I, the Recycle Path. The only one chosen to speak in the Holy Bin's name. I had a dream last night. The spirit of the rubber glove told me that this world is no longer fit for us. We must build as the holy bin in the sky commands us to reach the trashless world where humans and biodegradable materials may coexist in harmony. You kids have reached a long way up this tower, but I'm afraid this is where your journey ends. After all, you are nothing but trash, grubby, senseless plastic wielders. May the grace of the biodegradable fork work through me. Prepare to be recycled. What the fuck? Let's use focus and courage. Home run. Tomas focuses. Like maybe I should have done that instead. 69 damage. Root. Oh my god. It's... I guess it just does a lot of damage, but it actually doesn't do what I was hoping it would. All right, I want to see how much we do now. Tomas's attack can't go any higher. Okay. Hundred and ninety five damage because of focus. Math wise, though, is that even worth? I guess I should just focus on the main dude. It's just like D DPS race here. 
Yeah, I should have done it right away. I should have used her home run for it, actually. That would have been that would have been the right call, I think. Two hundred and twenty-three damage. Damn. Alright, so I think focus is worth doing then. Cost two turns, but This is a cool fight. It makes sense because technically it's not a real world thing, right? That was at Tomas. See, the problem now is that, like, that's so much damage. Tomas has to heal. tag picks and all this mini dungeon for a missable side quest oh yeah it, it is just like a side quest thing isn't it first aid on you you have the highest attack and then you use first aid on amori i mean on tobas Yeah, this is really funny. Oh my god. That was a crit for that much damage. Oh, he's almost dead. But yeah, if I get on... I feel like if I get on Lucky and they both attack... If they all attack Amori... Tomas... <laughs> then... He'll all just die. Oh, why, Holy Bin, have you forsaken us? We did it! That was, that was cool. No, how is this possible? But you are all just trash. We are destined to reach the trashless world. Has the Holy Bin forsaken us? No, I must have misinterpreted its message. The Holy Bin makes no mistakes after all. It is I who must have been wrong. Wait, I understand now. The Holy Bin must be telling me that there is no trashless world. We can only make the most of the world that we live in. Yes, come, brothers and sisters. The trashless world is not up in the sky, but on the ground that we stand on. We must make this our trashless world together. And is this because I bought the land? Oh, there's a trophy. Defeat the recycle path. Recycle path. Is this because I bought the floor lamp? Hey, you all right? We, you've been staring into space. What were you daydreaming about? Your expression, it was so peaceful. Beaten up recycle, recycultist. All right, let me check to see if I have trash. Nope. No trash. That's so fun. It was so weird, dude. They made all of that for a little thing. Yeah. Then they're not here. I wonder if they were they ever here? I I kind of feel like they were never even here. And he's just weird. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have saved over that. Um, what do I do now? Basil's house, I guess. I don't know if there's anything else I can do. Uh, this isn't, let me double check my, whoop. Put them, flowers, bubble wrap, 
Don't know what bubble wrap is for. There's usually two different phases to the real world section, right? You have your like daytime and then there's the evening section or afternoon. I saved, so it's fine. Hey, Polly, how's Basil doing? We were wondering if we if he if we could hang out with him today. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He's in the hospital. What? That's what I just said. What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Uh, Basil is in the hospital visiting his grandmother. Lead with that, lady. She was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh, no. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon? Sorry. Would you mind if we checked back here later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah. Sure. Anyways, we'll be back later. See ya, Polly. Want a cracker? I love how she was just like, he's at the hospital. But didn't say visiting his grandma. Just, he's at the hospital. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess we have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. Sure, maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And then later, when it cools down, we can all go see the treehouse. Oh yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey's with us now too. So then she definitely didn't hang herself in the tree. He's passed to the next grade. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't yet either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Tomas? What did you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah, you should decide how you want to spend your last day in faraway town. Lead the way, Tomas. Can I go inside? Oh, I can. Basil's lived with his grandmother since he was a toddler. His parents always seemed to be too busy. I've only ever seen them once. Yeah, so these kids were like each other's family. You know? So I guess they're giving us a choice. We can either go to Kel's house or the treehouse or... I don't think that was real. Well, let me go anywhere else, I wonder. Oh, okay. Uh, but I don't think there's been like a change to anything. Man, I was so worried about accidentally, especially Mari, you're right. I mean, that's definitely how they're, well, not for hero, but. This is their house. Oh, I guess this is so that you could see the scene with the... Wait, what just happened there? Oh, they're so excited for me. Look, I'm winning. High score. Okay. Is that it? The picture of them? Looking good. Looking good. Lose the goatee, though. Weird. So that was... So I guess we have to go... Looks like the sun is about to set. Did you want to go see the treehouse now? Wow. Uh oh.
goatees never work. Wow. I guess you really are moving away, huh, Tomas? When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years, and painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved that we were still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here. So that we can face this together. Oh, then she did. She did. She totally did. It's okay, hero. I'll go first. Yeah, she totally did. I feel like she didn't do it on purpose, though. Like, I feel like something happened in it, and it was because of something Basil and Tomas, act, like, you know, left something. She got tangled or something. Like, you know what I mean? And fell out. Hey, when you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could... Aubrey, Tomas, are you guys coming? Move away. Actually, never mind. It's nothing. Yeah, she did definitely die in, in the tree. Or... That's crazy, though, because that's why that tree... That's why we had to fight that tree in the beginning. Or whatever. Oh, they cut it down. This is where Mari... Yeah, it is. That's why it's a stump. Feels like forever ago, but I can still remember that day perfectly. That, that day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with Mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day, too. I went out to get a haircut with Dad. Oh, yeah. You were there with your dad, too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mari and Tomas's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening... Even after all this time, I, I still don't understand why she would do it. I... I don't think any of us ever will. She didn't, though, did she? Hey, guys, let's... Let's keep going. Oh, the treehouse isn't where she... The treehouse is back there. Okay. Hmm. What's up, Frank? Happy Saturday. Yeah, that's totally why. Interesting. And then that's why his mom was like, just come out to the car, we'll leave. She just wants to get out of here. She And she doesn't want to even step foot inside. So she didn't fall out at the treehouse, so it must she must have done it on purpose then. Oh, the last picture. Wow. This place has seen better days, but it looks like everything is right where we left it. All our old stuff is still here. Hey, look, here's our playing cards. I was the best at card games, wasn't I, guys? Mr. Plant Egg. Oh, you're so dirty. Her her weapon thing, her stuffed toy. Look at all these old books. So this is where all my cookbooks went. Ah, I think I just stepped on a jack. Oh man, such good times. Hmm, why did we have a toaster in here? Baseball bat. Mari used to play softball, but quit when she injured her knee. Plants made from paper. Aubrey and Basil made these together. An old TV. Kel brought it up here, but was pretty bummed when he found out he couldn't use it. A yo-yo. You only knew how to walk the dog. 
Kel's old shoes. He forgot his stuff at your house frequently. Man, I was the best at card games. Hero's cookbooks. Mari bought them for his birthday. A calendar? The date of the recital has passed. Yes, it has. I remember now. Kel brought this toaster in here. He said he wanted me to cook with it. Kel was such a weird kid. Mr. Plant Egg is so dirty. There. Good as new. Oh, what's the last picture going to be? Don't forget, it's in the toy box. You put the toy box key in your pocket. Hey, look. Tomas found a photo of us. But they didn't see the key. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album. Tomas, we should add it in. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. The last picture. Basil's memories. There. Now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time that we'll all be together here in the treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, Hero. The photo album is already out, so we might as well, right? Let's start from the beginning. Do they add new stuff? I don't know. Look at them. And we only got the new one. Ta-da! All summer, we've been working on a treehouse in Tomas's backyard. And today, it's finally finished. Hiro and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put in the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Look at them all. Mari's already up there. Tomas is a little afraid of heights, so, you know, Hiro's going... That's it, though, huh? Nothing else I can do, right? Are you done? Yes. Oh, Mari. I miss her so much. I... I miss her, too. Hey, come on guys, why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. Mari would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. If only Basil could be here too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Why did they leave me alone? You can't do that. You can't do that. I'm a weird kid. I'm a, I'm going to get into trouble. I'm a, um, you can't do that. Oh no. You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. 
But now I realize that I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Tomas and Basil became more closed off. Cal made a bunch of friends playing sports, and Hero always seemed too busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me and abandoned Mari, too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Tomas stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch, so I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. When he got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old, old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all of the photographs with marker. I couldn't believe it. He had even blacked out Mari's face. All of our memories together, it felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry, I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him Creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet I'm the one who was angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Oh. Oh, why am I... What? Hey. It's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse, so... I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey, and I'm sorry to you too. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kel, but I'm the oldest, so I should have known to take care of everyone. I... I just... Uh, no, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. Except Basil. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be here for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Ah, yeah, count me in. Wait, wait, just one second. Ready or not, here we come. See, he backed away like I don't want to get too close to all of you. Oh. Screenshot. Look at them. We should go see if Basil's back home later today. I need to apologize to him, and I think right now, he's probably the one that needs us the most. The village dally music playing again. A pinwheel blows freely in the wind. Bye. I'm kind of curious if there's anything No. I wasn't sure if, like... You see, he hasn't been hallucina hallucinating as much. Like, he had the hallucination of the recycling stuff, but that's it. Sarah, thank you. Welcome to the stream. That's concerning. Wait, what was? What's concerning? The word Amori is etched across the center. Want to know what happened? Do I want to know what happened when it comes to... Why eating chicken is sure. Sorry, I was focused on the... It was like a pretty big story moment, so I didn't want to stop to talk about chicken. I'm wondering if I should, like, save now? We're in the second phase of this time, right? 
All right, we'll do this one. All right, how long have we been? We're doing okay on time. The music is so pretty. Hector's doghouse. Okay, we can still go into their house. Oh, they're in the they're in the park though still, right? And get hamburgers from them. What are you doing, Grandma? Grandma, what are you what Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Hallucinating. Your mom makes the chicken and you want to enjoy tearing into it. Okay. Wait, that guy is there? Oh, another coin. Coin. Bark, 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 bark. Cute. Bye, Hector. Sally squished her face into a weird shape. Well, hello, boys. Good to see you're finally spending some quality time. Okay, so you said the same thing. Burgers? Hey, champs, here's one burger for each of you, as promised. We got four hamburgers. Wow. Been a long time since I've seen all of you hanging out. Reminds me of when you were all still children. Tomas, good luck with moving away tomorrow. Remember to visit every now and then. I know Kel's going to be lonely without you. Oh, Dad, stop it. You're embarrassing me. Ha 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 ha! Here's a lesson from your old man. As you get older, it's going to get harder and harder to make friends. So if you think you have a good one, it's important to cherish them. Friends can be for life, you hear me? It's true. Hmm? Are you wondering why I'm still here if I'm rich? Okay. It's true. Did I choose to save Basil the second time I asked you in head space? Did I, cho did I choose to save Basil the second time it asked me? I don't remember a second time, to be honest with you. But anytime it asked me to save him, I said yes. Back at the park again. Mency, what are you going to draw this time? Hey, Kel. Tomas. I'm not drawing anything. I'm just sitting here enjoying the breeze. That's good. You've been working hard drawing all weekend. It's important to relax, too. Yeah, I'm still really anxious, though. I hope my portfolio will be good enough to get into art school. Being an artist has always been my dream, but I sometimes get in my own way. Thanks for everything these past few days. I think I really needed it. Huh? What did I do? Yes. No, I know what you mean. I just don't... I don't remember a second. I would have just asked. I would have just said yes. Tomas and Aubrey in the swings. It's nothing really, but I guess just telling me to keep going and stuff. I feel like I need a little push sometimes. You know what I mean? Hmm. Not really. But I'm still glad I could help you out somehow. I thought you wouldn't, but that's okay. Um, here's a sketch I made of you guys. It's not much, but I hope you like it. We got a small sketch. No way! Is this really for us? Wow, this is so amazing! I look better in this drawing than in real life! Not like that's hard, Kel. Ha! Thank you so much, Mincy. You've made your number one and number two fans very happy. No problem. You two are such a funny pair. If everyone had friends like you, I bet the world would be a much happier place. Wow, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to us, huh, Tomas? We hope you get into art school, Mincy. Don't forget us when you become a famous artist. You don't have to worry about that. I definitely won't forget you guys. Not ever. She's gonna forget us. When you were in black space, it asked right before Basil got torn apart. It's okay if you don't... I remember. I just don't... I, you, you said, did you choose to save Basil the second time it asked you? I only remember that time. I don't remember it asking me a second time. But I... The, regardless, I, I chose... I chose yes. However many times they asked me, I would have chosen yes. Yeah. Not even five minutes or ten minutes in, she comes back. You got any bones for the dogs? Not even five minutes or ten minutes in, she comes back. You got any bones for the dog, and I want to enjoy eating it. Okay. And? Oh, that's really cute. She signed it Mincy. Yeah, sorry, Molly. I, was, I wasn't sure. Like, I don't know. Was there, was, did they ask me two times? Sorry, that's what I'm confused about. Oh, that's cute. We like switched. Oh. 
Tomas's little thumbs up in that. It's cute. Yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I'm confused, Molly. Brothers and sisters, we must all accept that we are trash, yet although we may be trash, as long as we remain biodegradable, we may yet be saved. Are you real? First time I asked was when Basil was pushed in the lake. Oh, 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 that's what you... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought you were saying twice in headspace during... I thought you were talking... That's why I was confused. I thought you were talking about that one segment, and I was like, wait, what do you mean? Do I need to replay? That's why I was like, wait, what's going on? I thought you were hinting at something. So this is your hangout spot with your new friends, huh? Yeah, so what? Uh, nothing really. Can't really blame you. It's like, hurry up, eat the chicken. That's what kills your mood. Wait, I'm sorry. So, your mood... Your mood when it comes to eating chicken has been ruined because your mom asked you if you had any bones for the dogs? But you shouldn't give dogs chicken bones, regardless. It's a pretty cool place. The lake's a little murkier now, but I remember we used to swim here all the time. It looks the same as it always did. You just had lower standards. Yeah, <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. So, why did we stop swimming here again? You don't remember? Mari stopped wanting to come here after the time Tomas almost drowned. <sighs> oh man, I completely forgot about that. Cal and I used to do tricks jumping off that statue, but when we asked Tomas to try it, he froze up and fell into the lake. Oops. Do you remember, Tomas? It all happened so fast. And even though we were already in the water, it wasn't us who saved you. Nope, it was Mari. She dived in before we could even react. I'll never forget that moment that she carried you out of the lake. When you finally opened your eyes, she fell on top of you and burst into tears. I had never seen her that way before. Mari really loved you, Tomas. You know that, don't you? Oh, stop. What? <laughs> Bless you! No. Oh. Hey, Aubrey. What do you want, Kel? I've been thinking. We get into fights all the time, huh? Yeah, we do. But even after everything, we're still friends, right? Yeah, I guess we are. Huh, isn't that weird? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, you two. That just means that you two are really comfortable around each other. I'm a little jealous you two can be so candid even after all this time. I think that's something really special. Really? Thought someone was die. Yeah, you could hear that, right? I was just about to say that I find it kind of annoying. You're such an idiot. But in like a cute way, you know what I mean? They like each other. else in here so Tomas tried to do a trick and he remembered saying that because of like he saw a spider or something that threw him off and then he almost drowned in the lake and Mari saved him which we saw before uh who are you reporter sometimes I drive to far away break uh far away park during my breaks there's just something really relaxing about this place okay I think we did what we could here. We got another coin, right? Not being able to handle running makes sense now that we see the line about softball. Yep. Yep. I thought it was... I wasn't sure if they were hinting at something more there, but... That was it. This is the first spot where I met my crush, Maverick. See if there's anything else over here. Oops. 
Hello? I'm pretty sure I'm lost, both in body and in spirit. Okay, good luck. Hello, games and movies. Remember Disney 1 Saturday morning? Yeah. Bye, Ghost of Basil. Flowers are so pretty. They're so pretty. <laughs> I love her. Charlene's my favorite. Do you have anything else for me? When she says that and wants you to hurry up and eat it, it also makes you feel like being rushed from eating something you want to enjoy. I can see how that would, yeah. Found footage online at Archive. of The Disney Channel stuff? Saturday morning cartoons? Nice. Food's not really my thing. What? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? What do you mean food's not really my thing? Get out of here. Nothing in here? Oh, there's Maverick. Maybe I judge my family's business too fast. I've been running from this for so long, but I don't seem to be good at anything. Is it possible that I, the Maverick, could be good at baking? Oh, maybe. Maybe. The one on ABC? Yeah, so like the recess and all that stuff. Yeah, I remember that. Hey, I can't buy I can't buy anything anymore. That's rude. I feel like the party there's the party thing that's happening too. So that might be I'm unsure about that. Do I want to play a song from the jukebox? Did Praetorium and got all the commends as a reaper. Maybe they Oh, probably. I feel like that's most likely, right? Oh, they're here eating pizza. I have a pizza in my left hand and my wife's hand in my right. This is all a man could ever ask for. That's true. Dude, we should get some pizza. We should get pizza. I just want it. How am I supposed to eat with my parents being all lovey-dovey like that? Ew. This is nice, isn't it, pumpkin? Trophy, did I get a trophy? Did a trophy pop? I don't think so. You're just saying that. Haven't touched the chicken since yesterday. Stomach feels ill. Your, sorry, your stomach feels ill because your mom asked you to hurry to eat the chicken so that, or she asked if you had bones for the dogs. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come all the way. It's the same stuff. Wait, did I have exactly as much fish as I needed? Yeah, you shouldn't give chicken bones to dogs. It's not good. It's not good for them. Yeah, cooked chicken bones bad. Followed a f I followed a fish guide. Uh, I guess we'll go down this way. Aubrey's house. Looking for looking for the cat. We can go in. Her mom is still just like chilling, huh? Oh, we can't even interact with her. Doesn't look like there's... Okay. Like, double-checking, you know? Don't want to miss something here. Story-wise. So that's the party. Ooh, a dollar! So those are from throwing the coin into the fountain and then a dollar a dollar spawns somewhere on the map. I think is I think is what that is. That's what this yeah, I think this is I they definitely influenced by that. I 
feel like the cat is going to end up being around here because I don't think the cat has been around the church at all and it's such a big area. Okay. So there's this guy says that the spirits are howling. And that somebody is going to grieve tonight. Someone will be grieving tonight. Oh, there the cat is literally next to Mari's grave. Interesting. And now on the stump. Interesting. Hmm. Cat left a gift for you. A tranquil CD. You get the feeling that it's the last time you will see that cat again. Tommy full of fat trophy. Feed the stray cat every day. I'm doing great. So any advice about what happened? What she does? Yeah, don't give your dogs cooked chicken bones. That's the advice. I'm I don't know. I the I I'm not sure about the other stuff. Um but maybe you should talk to her about it. Pet cemetery, the cat comes back not looking good. So the party's happening, but I don't feel like I want to do that yet. Should we? I doubt this. I There's no way, because we haven't checked in with Basil. There's no way this is going to skip story, right? I keep thinking of like Persona, where like things take time. I, it's not how this works. The, come on in. The party's already started. All right. Is it just... Did you just invite all the neighborhood kids here? Hey, it's you. Darn. I guess this party isn't cool anymore. <laughs> just kidding, nerd. <laughs> Anyways, Aubrey told me you were moving away tomorrow. That sounds kind of sucky, but I'm sure you'll be okay. Oh, that wasn't me grumbling. That was my stomach. I'd better start on this food before it's all gone. Parties aren't really my thing, but this is kind of nice. And I guess it's true what they say. Food always tastes better when you cook it yourself. Cute. Okay, she says the same thing. Sometimes characters say multiple things, and other times they say the exact same thing over and over. Munch, munch. Ah, uh, yeah. Free food. Ah, uh, gruff guy's here. Quality time with my two kiddos. Who could ask for more? Cute. I haven't been to a party like this in a long time. We have parties in college, too, but they're not as, um, quaint. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's enjoying the food, though. It's the culmination of our hard work. Yeah. Good for you. Good job, hero. Big old chicken roast. Huh. Today is our last day together, huh, Tomas? It's nice that we have a chance to celebrate with everyone before you head off for New Horizons. Just enjoy yourself and relax for now, Munch. We're in good company. We're in good company. There's cookies there. That guy from Persona, Akihiko. Please make yourself at home, but just for a few hours. Just for a few hours. Please relax and have some food. You can stay as long as you like, reasonably. Is there people, like, hanging around their house somewhere? No. Okay, that would be weird. This is a, a pretty dead party, I'm going to be honest. Like, sorry, friends. That's it? Okay, if you go back in. Huh. Well, all right. We went into there. We did that. Rude. Are they, they're just like invited kids. Let's get Basil's house. Uh, 
We should have, if this is the last day, we should have some like type of culmination, right? Nope. Very chill, very uh, chill party. But they've been planning it all weekend. Like they've been planning it. So the fact that only like a couple of people showed up to their party, it's too bad. Hello. I'm glad mom went with Chinese takeout for dinner. Everything she cooks is so bland, but don't tell her that. I'm going to tell her that. Have you seen Bebe? She's going to be late for dinner. We got Chinese takeout tonight. Mmm. Thai food. Let's get Thai food instead. Nothing there. I'm telling you though, this music is so the village of Dali in Final Fantasy IX. Is Angel still in the corner? Frozen solid. It will be a while. I guess we just keep his card. It's mine now, guy. Oh, am I finally going to get paid for tutoring? Yay, dad's home. Working all day and night can be pretty trying at times, but having dinner with my family like this reminds me it's all worth it. Oh, it's the pharmacist. And then the school principal. My husband works nights so late sometimes. I'm sure Brent misses his father. Oh, this is Brent. Oh. That makes sense that they said that they study now. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can get, though. Okay. Nice little, uh, things here. Ness, Ness crossover from Earthbound. Definitely influenced by Earthbound, yeah. Haven't played that myself, but one of these days... They shouldn't be in here. Oh, their mom is. Snip, 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 snip. They're not. Okay. Because they're at the party. Everyone, they're at, right? You said that, yeah. I haven't seen it. So this is the, where are they? Where are them? Maybe they're also sitting down for dinner. Now that's funny is like coming in here and being like, oh, you guys are eating dinner. Hello, did you miss us? Yeah, they are. Dad's being extra nice to me, to me today. He says he's going to take me and grandma to the beach tomorrow. I can't wait. Oh, I've been so hard on Michael these past few years. I, I hope to see him again, What? maybe on TV. Okay, doesn't say anything new. This is, uh, Charlie? The eating? Nope. Nope. Gamer dude is in here, being, being a Chad. I wonder who the love letter is from Charlie, because it's her love letter. <laughs> Mailman, what's going on? Thank you for the raid, dude. Rainhound, thank you for the hydrate. Hello, mailman. How are you? What's going on? What were you playing? Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Better be, you better say a good game. You better say a good game, dude. A beautiful man, beautiful mailman raid. Here's the mail. It makes me want to wag my tail every time it something, something I forgot. Dragon Age Origins. All right. That counts. It counts as a good game. It counts as a real good game, in fact. Uh, I haven't done Hazamori. Good. We're getting towards the end of it, actually. So a little heads up for anybody coming if you don't want to be spoiled for Amori. 
Uh, I think I think some shit's about to hit the fan. Anthony's here too. Oh my gosh! Hello, hello, beautiful. I don't even know how many CDs are. Oh, okay. Insert every song into Gino's. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. So I think that's probably everything I can do then. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like those were a measure of. It's a beautiful men raid. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Earthbound is the U.S. name. It's Mother 2. We do not get Mother 1 and 3. We do not get 1 and 3. Apparently, uh, Maybot was talking about it yesterday. Apparently, we did or something. I don't think there's anything I can do there. But maybe... There's these guys. Been real champs these past few days. I can't thank y'all enough. If I ever lose my TV remote again, I'll know who to call. It's the same thing. We got one as Earthbound Beginnings on GBA. Yeah, but not the... Not the... Right, and not the third one. The third is Japan only, right? I don't think there's anything else I can do, so... We're going to Basil's, friends. That's it. We're going to save here just in case. Oh, I'm a little scared. I'm a little nervous about this, actually. Because that did say that someone's going to be... There, someone's going to be grieving tonight. Basil's probably back from the hospital. Uh-oh. Let's do it. I am... I'm, I'm just worried, but... I'm sure he's going to be home. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Well... Basil's back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh no, is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some alone time, but I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try to talk to him? Of course, we'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. Oh, that's like the rewarding, huh? Oh shit. Okay, let's do it. We saved. Basil has been all by himself recently, so I'm sure he's lonely. It's nice to know that Basil has friends who care so much about him. Oops. Alright, he's in this room. Hi, Basil. It's Hiro. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Tomas. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Did anything happen to his grandmother, maybe? Howdy, Akiko. Welcome back. Maybe? Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil, this is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah. Last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you are all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome! I call the couch! Should... Should we... Should... Okay. 
Ah, uh, this is all happening so fast. Okay then, since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. Hmm. Why do you get the couch? Well, duh, it's because I called it first. <laughs> Ow, that hurt! Bunch of books. No answer. Polly wasn't with Basil and the grandmother since she was hired to take care of them. I don't know. Maybe the parents were there? Basil gonna go the way of Mari. I think that's... I think that's what they're... I think that's the... I think that's the point. Why can't you see that everyone is here for you? I think that is the point of the game, actually. Do you want to hang out with your friends? Yes. Look at us, eating chips, cookies. Poor Basil's never invited. Or he just always goes missing when we're doing stuff. I don't know what they're yelling about. Hey, Tomas. I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting, but I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. This is cute. Ugh, that's so cheesy, Hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hero's always being such a big softy, just like you, Aubrey. W what did you say? It's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's the softy now. Ugh. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other, just like I know that Mari's still here with us too. You know, I hope we'll, we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow. It'd be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm getting sleepy. And we know Kel just passes out. What the? Is he asleep already? Yup. Yep, that's Kel for you. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Tomas, thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you for doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's the big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Tomas, after you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park or the beach. Or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. Yeah, that sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more, the merrier, after all. Which is why they're at the park. Hmm. Come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Tomas. See you all in the morning. Looking good. I was just expecting Tomas to just be like... Mm. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Will you forgive me? Well, 
my best friend. Please. I just, I, that's the part I don't get. So if, like, it just felt like something, there's some responsibility for it. Every Kel meme is canon. Huh. Hello, white space. Oh, we're... Oh, we're... Oh, I can't access my menu. Huh. 